Welcome to the Center of Maths, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For this week's problem, uh, we're, we're given a metric uh, going from the integers to real numbers. Uh, and we define it by uh, the distance between two uh, the, the same integers is zero. The distance between two different integers is one over p of the t, where uh, p is a given positive prime and t is a unique integer such that m minus n equals p of the t times k and p does not divide k. So it's however many times p divides m minus n. And we want to prove uh, z with this distance function is a metric space. So we want to prove the four axioms of a metric space. Uh, first, uh, so if m does not equal n, So if m does not equal n, distance between m and n is 1 over p of t. The lowest value of t is just 0, which would give us 1. So, uh, and yeah, and if t is anything bigger than that, this is always a positive number, which is always going to be greater than 0. Uh, and also the distance between m and m, m in itself is 0. So from this we can conclude. So we conclude two of the axioms of a metric space. Uh, the distance between m and n is zero if and only if m equals n, and also the distance between m and n is always greater than or equal to zero. Uh, third axiom. Note n, m minus n is just negative n minus m, and both of these are divisible by p the same amount of times, and so t will be the same for both of them, and so. Uh, the distance m comma n is equal to the distance n comma n. And so the last axiom we want to prove is so uh, the last axiom we want to prove is given three points in our metric space the distance between x0 and x2 is less than or equal to the distance x between x0 and x1 and plus x1 and x2. Uh, so if we look at x0 minus x2, we can write this as x0 minus x1 plus x1 minus x2, which we can write as p of the a1 uh, k1 plus p of the a2 k2. And this thing is also equal to p of the a0 k0. But note, on this right side, we can factor out uh, Whichever a1 or a2, whichever one's lower, we can factor out p of that power. And so p the a0 must be divisible by the, the minimum power. So a0 must be greater than or equal to the min of a1, a2. But this implies 1 over p a0 is less than or equal to the maximum of 1 over p a2 uh, and 1 over p a1. Uh, but since our, uh, our distance is given by just 1 over p a2, 1 over p a1, 1 over pa0. Uh, we can conclude, in fact, since 1 over pa0 is less than or equal to one of these, it's less than or equal to the addition of each because they're both positive. And so uh, our fourth axiom holds true, and this is a uh, metric space. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out centermath.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.